myself Hena Shah. Today we are going to discuss topics named flux and Green's theorem in the play. So let us start with the topic named flux. If the vector field F bar is given by M i cap plus M j cap, which is some kind of a fluid flow, and C is a curve, then the line integral over C F bar dot N cap ds represents the flux of F bar through the curve C. And this n cap is called the unit normal vector to C. So the formula of flux is equal to line integral over C f bar dot n cap dx, which can be written as here we just put the value of f bar that is m i cap plus n j cap dot b i i cap minus b x j cap. So this is equal to line integral over C m d y minus n d x. So this is the formula of the flux. So now let us understand this using one example. So if f bar is equals to 2i cap plus 0j cap, we have to calculate the flux of f bar through the line segment from 3, 0 to 0, 3. So this is uh, cos C, which is a line segment joining the points 3, 0 and 0, 3. Firstly, let us find the values of our m and n by comparing f bar is equals to 2i cap plus 0j cap. With, you have to compare this with f bar is equal to m i cap plus n j cap. So from this we can say that our m of x comma y is 2 and n of x comma y is 0. Now write the flux formula that is line integral over c m d y minus n d x. Put the values of m and n they are 2 and 0. So line integral over 2 d y minus this n is 0 so it is 1. Now we just have to substitute the limits of y, right? And you can see from this they are varying from 0 to 3. So here it will come 0 to 3. Just integrate this or 2, we can keep outside. Integration 1 d y will be y from 0 to 3. Put the limit so it will be 3 minus 0. So final answer of flux is 6. So you just have to remember this formula for flux. Okay? So now let us go to the next topic that is Green theorem in the plane. So if m of x comma y and n of x comma y and their partial derivatives del m by del y, del n by del x, these all four functions should be continuous in some region R of the x y plane bounded by a closed curve C. Then line integral over closed curve C m dx plus n dy is equals to double integration over r del n by del x minus del n by del y dx d1. So this, this statement is very important, right? So now let us evaluate some sums based on Green's theorem. So we have to verify Green's theorem in the plane for this line integral where c is the boundary of the region bounded by x is equals to 0, y is equals to 0 and x plus y is equals to 1. So we have to verify Green's theorem. So we have to check the LHS and RHS mode. So what is the Green's theorem formula? Line integral over C and dx plus n dy will be equals to double integration over r by del x minus del x del m by del y. So we have to find LHS and RHS separately and check whether both answers are equal or not. So firstly for that let us draw the for region R which is bounded by the curve C in the xy plane. So this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, right? Your lines are x is equal to 0. So it is this, y is equal to 0 and lastly x plus y is equal to 1. If I want to draw the line x plus y is equal to 1, I will find two points. So if x is 0, y is 1. If y is 0, x will be 1. So my points are which? 1, 0 and 0, 1. Fine. So this is my line x plus y is equal to 1. And so this is our region R. Okay. So let us start with the LHS portion. Uh, let us mark this as O, K and B. So LHS is what line integral over close curve C and dx plus and dy. Now our curve C is a triangle 
O A and B. So over triangle O A B and B X plus N B Y. So this can be written as line integral over O A plus A B plus what B O. Fine. So now let us evaluate one by one simultaneously. So first let us start with O A. So over O A we have y is equals to zero, so we can write that b y is equals to zero. So only we want limits of x, and you can see from here it is varying from x is equals to zero to x is equals to one. So line integral over O A. In question, you just have to put y as zero and d y as zero. So m d x plus m d y will be integration from zero to one. So y is zero. And dy is zero, so this is gone, and this term is also gone. So only remaining is 3x squared dx. Just evaluate the integral 3 outside x cubed by 3, 0 to 1. If you put the limits, this gets cancelled out. So answer will be 1. So the first answer is 1. Okay. Now let us find over a b. So first let me draw the region again. So our triangle is O A and B. This is x is equals to zero, y is equals to zero, x plus y is equals to one. Here points are one zero and zero one, right? Now we want to find over a b. So line is x plus y is equals to one. I will convert this in one variable, right? So I can write this as y is equals to what one minus x. So your b y will be equals to what minus d x. So I want my limits of x again, right? And that is from one to zero. We are moving from a to b. So the limits of x are what one to zero. Okay. So now line integral over a b m d x plus n d y will be equals to line integral from one to zero. Just put all the values in this question. So in case of y, you have to put one minus x. Okay. So first term will remain as it is minus eight into one minus x whole square. Now here minus d x is there, so I will put minus, right? And here we have to put minus four into one minus x. Now minus minus plus. I am taking out my d x form, right? So six x will remain as it is into one, and that is one minus x. Now we will simplify this. Okay, so we will get the line integral from one to zero. Just to open the last brackets, so three x square minus eight into one minus x square minus four plus four x plus six x minus six x square dx. Right. So now just evaluate. And so it will be three x square minus eight into one minus x whole square, right? And what will remain now? Finally, we will have plus ten x, and here minus three x will become three x square minus six x square, so minus three x square and minus four. Now only integration is remaining. So here the integration will be minus three x cubed by three minus eight. Into one minus x whole cube upon three, but one minus from here, so your plus will come. Plus ten into x square by two minus four x from one to zero. Fine. So now this three will get cancelled out. Your five will come. First we have to put zero and then one. So if I put zero from here, only one term will come. That is eight by three. Now if I put one. We can see what will remain minus one. Here this will go to zero. Plus five minus four. Okay. Now again minus five plus five. So this is again getting to zero. So final answer is what eight by three. Okay. Now finally we want to integrate over B O. So you can see that uh, our line is x is equals to zero, right? So let us write over B O. Where our line is x is equals to zero, so b x will be equals to zero. So now you can see from this diagram that the limits of y will vary from what one to zero. Okay, so 
So you have limits of y will be from y is equals to 1 to y is equals to 6. So the line integral over b o m dx plus n dy will be equals to from 1 to 0. Now we have to put x is equals to 0 and dx is equals to 0. So this will become 0. Put over your x 0. So this term is also gone. Only 4y dy will remain. Just integrate this so 4 into y square by 2 from 1 to 0. If I put first 0, answer will be 0 minus 1 upon 2. So final answer is what? Minus 2. Okay, over b o. So final answer of LHS that is line integral over c m b x plus n b y will be equal to we have to add all the three cases. So over first o a it was 1 plus 8 by 3 minus 2. So answer will be 8 by 3 minus 1. So final answer will be 5 by 3. So this is our answer of the LHS. Now let us evaluate RHS. So for that, firstly let us compare the given question with line integral over C m dx plus n d y. So our m is 3x square minus 8y square n is 4y minus 6xy. Now we have to find del m by del y and del m by del x. So you have to find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So this x is constant so answer will be minus 16y and you have to evaluate this with respect to x. So answer will be minus 6y. So now let us draw the region once more. So it is a triangle OAB, right? And this is what x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x plus y is equal to 1. Here the points are 1, 0 and 0, 1. Now our RHS formula is double integration over R, del m by del x minus del m by del y, dx d y. Fine? So now let us subtract firstly del n by del x minus del n by del y. So it will be minus 6y minus minus 16y. So it will be double integration 10y. Now I want to find the limits of x and y. So firstly I will take one horizontal strip right in this region. So now my limits of x will be from 0 to x is equal to 1 minus y. And my limits of y will be from 0 to 1. Okay. So let us put these limits. So limits of x are 0 to 1 minus y. And limits of y are 0 to 1. And dx d1. Now if I evaluate this, this 10 y integration from 0 to 1, 10 y will remain as it is. What will come x? And our limits are 0 to 1 minus y dy. Okay, now 10 will keep outside integration from 0 to 1 by into 1 minus y will come because if I put 0, it will become 0, right, into dy. Now let us solve this. First open the bracket, so 0 to 1. So now let us open the bracket, so y minus y square dy. Just evaluate the integral, so 10 into y square by 2 minus y cube by 3 from 0 to 1. Just put the limits. So it will be 10 into 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3. If I put 0 as a limit, the answer will be 0. So here it will be 10 into 1 upon 6. So my final answer of RHS is 5 by 3. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS and Servin's theorem is verified. Okay. So now let us go to the next example. Using Green's theorem in the plane, we have to evaluate this line integral where C is the region bounded by line y is equals to x and the curve y is equals to x cube from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So we have to just evaluate the integral. So we have to apply the formula of the Green's theorem that is line integral over C m dx plus n dy is equals to double integration over r del n by del x minus del m by del y dx dy. Fine. Because we just have to use theorem, we will just find the RHS part. 
but for that firstly let us find the region r by drawing the graph so we know this is the line y is equals to x now the curve y is equals to x cube can be drawn like this right this is your curve y is equals to x cube now our curve c is bounded from 0 0 to 1 1 right so this is our region of integration fine so now let us start with this so this is equals to firstly for that we have to write the values of m and n so compare this with this m dx plus n dy so your value of m will be x square y value of n will be y cube so find now derivatives del m by del y so answer will be x squared and the for value of del n by del x will be what 0 because here there are no x terms. Now let us put these values to double integration. It will be 0 minus x squared. So minus x squared. Now we have to find the limits of x and y. So you can see we can draw this vertical strip like, like this right. So our limits of y are from x cube to y is equals to x and our limits of x is from what 0 to 1 in this region so limits of x is 0 to 1 so let us write that x cube to x and 0 to 1 so we are first putting the limits of y to dy dx right so integration from 0 to 1 this minus x squared will remain as it is Okay, this dx will remain as it is 1 dy, so integration will be y from x cube to x. So integration from 0 to 1 minus x square into x minus x cube dx. Now just open the bracket, so it will be integration from 0 to 1 minus x cube minus x raised to 5 dx. If I open the brackets, right, this will be plus x raised to 5. Okay, now final integration you will get answer as minus x raised to 4 upon 2 plus x raised to 6 upon 6 from 0 to 1. Just put the values of the limits. So if I put 1, it will be minus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 6. If I put 0, answer will be 0. Just now simplify this, so it will be minus 6 plus 4 upon 24. So minus 2 upon 24, so final answer is minus 1 upon 24. So I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.